In this video, I'm going to talk about qualifying a basic stylus. So last video, we went through the reference sphere and doing the master probe. You have to do that first to qualify your first stylus so that you can run a program. So what we're going to do today is just a basic Z down stylus. We call them by, you know, the absolute coordinates. Basically, if you're looking at the machine, anything to the right, X plus, to the left, X minus, in front of you, Y plus, behind you, Y minus, and up and down is Z. So this stylus that's pointed down, we'll call that a Z down. Now, there's two parts to this. It's the stylus system, okay, so the whole thing, and then the stylus is just this little part that screws in, okay? So you can have more than one styli on, in a stylus system. Each one has to be qualified. So a stylus like this that has multiple stylus system like this, multiple styli, all four have to be individually qualified. Now, you only have to do this manually once. After that, the computer remembers all the different styli you have, even if you have to take them out of any holders you may have. You can run a program or write a program that will check all of your stylus systems automatically. So you might wanna have a program that'll go through each stylus system in your holder, you know, every day before you start a shift, just to make sure the machine is properly calibrated. We'll do that in a, a later video. Right now, we just want to tell the machine what this stylus is, okay? The first thing we'll do is manually pick up the stylus. So I'll go to my screen, I'll go to stylus pickup, pick up stylus system, and ask me to insert the stylus system. I'm going to do just that. Remember, line up the three dots on your stylus system with the XXT, and it should snap right in. Easy peasy, right? I hit OK. Now it's going to ask us to select a stylus system. The stylus is totally unknown to the computer. Say we just put it together. We're going to go to new. OK. Now we've got to give it a name. So the first name is for the stylus system. OK. So what I'll usually do and what we do at the, the college here is whoever made it. So I'm going to put my last name and then I'll put, you know, uh, what it's for kind of. So this will just be Z minus. So I'll say Odell Z minus. Oh, if anybody looks, walks up to this machine, they'll know who made the stylus system. So like, why'd you make that? You know, do you need it? Uh, can I take it apart and use it for something else? Makes life a little easier around here. Okay. And then the stylus, this is only going to have one stylus, styli on it. I'm just going to call it Z down. So that's the direction it's going to probe. So now it's entered into that dialog and we're just going to hit OK. So now, just like we did with the master probe, we're going to go to that CMM tab. We're going to select stylus system. And if you'll notice, there's a big X right next to that little icon of the stylus. You'll also notice that there's no information about the stylus. So there's letters, you know, there's R, S, X, Y, and Z. Zero information the computer knows about it, which is perfectly fine. That's why we did the thing with the master probe and the reference sphere. The computer is going to take the information from the reference sphere and the master probe, which are known, and then find out the unknown of this probe through the qualification program. So let's hop right into that. I'm just going to go right here, qualify stylus. I'll answer OK to the probing behavior. And then it asks me to probe in the direction of the stylus shaft. In this case, I'm going to probe straight down onto the reference sphere. So I'll drive the machine. If you remember, on the left is up and down. The right is left and right. If your machine isn't going anywhere, it's probably the speed dial. If it's turned all the way down, handles don't do anything. So you want to turn the speed dial up. Other thing that can mess you up, there's a little turtle button, which will make the machine run really slow, no matter where the speed dial is. Okay. So I'll drive directly on top of that reference sphere, and then I'll move down on it kind of slow until it beeps. 
Now the machine is on autopilot. It's gonna scan that reference sphere, and when it's done, it'll finish. It'll leave the probe about a half inch above that reference sphere, and that stylized stylus system will be qualified. You could write a program for a part right then and there and check something if you needed to. The next step you'll probably wanna take is to assign it to a stylus system holder which is this guy back here that holds our styli for stylus systems for automatic tool changes. And I'll do that in another short video. So we covered the qualification of a single, of a stylus system with a single styli. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. Please like and subscribe and look out for a video really soon about assigning the stylus system to the stylus system holder.